Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cantina Social Hour. Happy Friday. Happy April the 12th, whatever that signifies. I don't know what April the 12th is. Hello, everybody. How's it going? I uh, hope you had a great week. Hope you're ready for the weekend. I certainly am here. Um, great to be here. And I see a lot of you joining in. So thanks for being here, you guys. This is like one of the highlights of my week, of course, talking Star Wars toys, talking collectibles, talking Star Wars news. Uh, alongside great guests. And we have a great show for you tonight. Um, cool. I love it. I'm looking at the conversations in the chat. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, very cool. Cantinians, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here with us this fine uh, April spring evening. How is it April already? How is it spring? I don't know, but my allergies can, are definitely aware that it is that time of year. Um, but you guys, what's going on? I want to see who's in the chat with us so far. Um, Adam, how's it going? Begun the Cantina Social Hour has. Absolutely, we're here. We are ready to hang out. Dodgson, how's it going? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight, tonight, tonight. Pico B1, how's it going? Good to see you. Ooh, you changed your um, your uh, your avatar image. Very cool. I like it. I dig it. Pong Krell, very nice. Very, very nice. Trevor, how's it going? Good to see you, Trevor. Thanks for hanging out. Paul, how's it going, Paul? Uh, good to see you this evening. <clears throat> Sweet. July through November, how are you doing? I think Victoria's hanging upside down in a Wampa cave. Yeah, that's me. You guys I, you guys know I never get started right at 7 o'clock, right? I mean, like, by now you know that. Like, I'm, I'm just never on time. It just never can happen. Um, mixing up the blue milk. Maybe. Maybe that's what I was doing. You guys don't know what I was doing. Maybe that's what I was doing. Could very well be. Could very well be. Better, anyway, Bob. How's it going? Haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Glad that you're back with us. Mary, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Braddock843. Will TVC has that be the canteen with the first stretch? Tonica Sisters. Ooh. Will it or will it not? I don't know. We'll talk about the Haslab. Don't worry. We will get there tonight. Nothing to fear here. Uh, I didn't mean to rhyme there. Uh, Sackic score 76. How is it going? Pico Obi Wan, how are you doing? Thank you very much. I, I'm glad that you checked that out. New video today, absolutely. Latoya T, how's it going? Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Good to see you. Well, cool, you guys. So I have a we got a show tonight, and there is a lot to talk about. All right, we're going to talk about the Haslab. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, recent Hasbro. Uh, an, I don't want to say reveal because I don't think it was officially revealed, but there was there was something that came up in the news. Uh, we're going to talk about some new hot toys, Star Wars hot toys that uh, have been kind of making the, the rounds in terms of uh, new images online uh, and, and something we missed somehow last week. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the new Star Wars Outlaws video game. We're going to talk about the Bad Batch. We're going to talk about uh, new acquisitions that have been added to collections. So don't worry, there's plenty to keep us busy tonight. We're not going to run out of topics. And if we do, then I'll just have to torch you with with uh, some paranormal talk or something. Uh, something random uh absorb bids how is it going thanks for hanging out all right you guys so why don't we cut to the chase so i appreciate you guys being with us tonight uh because we have uh our guest in the house uh waiting in the uh in the green room waiting backstage waiting uh on the other side of the internet 
um, out amongst the uh, the interwebs, uh, among the stars. All right, uh, let's do it. This is where the fun begins. All right, so tonight we have the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Lael, one six scale man. Welcome to the cantina. How you doing? <clears throat> Oops, so glad to have you. So so glad to be here. Um, um, it's been a while. It's been a long time. So yeah, it has. Thank you for being here, Leo. Like, yeah. like honestly, I really appreciate it. I, you know, yeah. I think this is you've been on the the, the show a few times now, but I think you're right. Yeah. The last time I want to say was like last summer or sometime. Yeah, yeah. You had me and Toy on. Uh yes, did like a yes. companion type of yeah, it was it was good. It was fun. Yeah, that was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, definitely it was a lot of fun. Cool. Well, glad that you are here with us. And yeah, um, yeah. yeah. yeah so we got plenty to chat about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, if for some reason somebody here is a straggler is not subscribed to Lael's channel, it's linked down in the description. So make sure you hit that and uh, head like straight that. over there and uh, give him a follow. Lael, how many streams have you done today? One. I only did one today. I only did one today. Well, wait, 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 wait. Two, two. I'll say two. I'll say two because. I woke up and with news that they did the all right, it was a new release. So we always do um, the the corner whenever there's an actual reveal or a release. And so today it was the reveal or early this morning. It was a reveal of the um, BVS um, armored Batman. So I did a live, uh, you know, just live chat. You know, we just talk, talk about like this. The features it was a 2.0. We do get feedback from the chat. Um, 2.0s are sometimes like a make or break type of situation. Like it's, it's a gift and a curse, you know, it's a gift for people who never had these figures before, but it's a curse for people who just want to reserve that level of exclusivity. So mm. when, you know, those 2.0s shoot around and people are really angry about it. So we just talked about it. So, yeah, yeah. so it would have been two streams. It would have been that one. And then of course we did, we just came off of figure flex Friday, like maybe an hour and a half ago. Uh, which is mainly our every Friday show where we, you know, talk. Well, actually, it's like a figure showcase show. So it's more so figure photography where you get um, guests who come in, they submit their photos in a group. We showcase like the fan photos, the fan photography. Um, we have like right now what is called the Spring Fever Flex competition. Um, and the winner will be announced at the end of May. So there's a lot going on right now. But, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. Definitely. All right, so this is this is number three right here. Number three tonight's number three. You wow. you, you sent the call and I was like, you know what? I I be I I, I cannot deny that. I have to be <laughs> cannot turn it down. Right on. Well, you're very busy. Uh, the, the the busiest man in streaming, some might say. <laughs> um, we appreciate it. We appreciate it very much. Mm -hmm. Um, and hello to those of you who are joining us uh, now. Good to see you guys. C C three P O. Hello, hello. Yes, yes. C C. It's my partner in crime. Uh, so glad to have her here. So glad to see her. I haven't seen her, I haven't seen her in a while. So definitely can't. We got to get scoundrels back on board, but everybody's schedule is busy. So <laughs> right on. We got Larry. Larry, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, and we have Britt. Hey, Britt, how's it going? I missed you last week. Or were you here last week? I'm sorry, I don't remember. I'm very forgetful. I'm very forgetful. Uh, blonde moments. Um, all right. So very cool. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to get started with our very first topic. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said earlier, there's, there's quite a bit to cover. Uh, we're going to start off with the Hasbro stuff, mm -hmm. get that out of the way. Um, so the first thing here is the star Wars Epic heroes N one starfighter. And mm -hmm. this comes, uh, from yakface.com. Uh, who is uh, who let us know about this? I think within the last day or so. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, uh, this is more what's considered like the kid line um, for Hasbro. It's not the vintage collection. It's not the Black mm -hmm. Series. It's the mm -hmm. same four inch scale, so pretty similar to the to the vintage collection uh, scale. But mm -hmm. um, you know, more budgeted, uh, more kind of aimed towards kids. Um, so this is really interesting because they haven't really done vehicles yet. This line just started. It, uh, the first figures came out in January. Mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. very basic. It's like Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, mm -hmm. uh, Mandalorian, Grogu. Very basic figures. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Sabine and Ahsoka are in there. And uh, now there's the N1 Starfighter. Now they released this in the Vintage Collection. But this is, um, like I was saying, more of like a, a budget version of it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. according to this here 
Uh, it says that the retail on this is $34.99 with the release of August the 1st. Okay. So, yeah, the TVC one is $130 unless you get it on sale. It's, it's great. It's awesome. But this is definitely an alternative if, you know, you don't need the fancy TVC mm -hmm, version. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, I'm, I am I haven't been buying this line because it's like I already collect TVC. You know, already mm -hmm. do, you know, not all, but many of the hot toys already yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick and choose with the Black Series. So it's like, mm -hmm. I haven't been buying this line. But yeah. for this, I kind of might have to. Well, I mean, consider the simple fact that Hot Toys right now, <laughs> they've revealed the N1 Starfighter, which is a, definitely a more expensive piece. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't look like they're going to actually do it. I know HasLab has been tackling a couple of things as well. I mean, even as a kid piece, um, this N1 Starfighter looks pretty good. You know what I mean? Especially from Hasbro. And they've been putting out like some bangers lately. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, if, if you know, all scales represented, all scales welcome. And this looks really good. Like, I, I, you know, I cannot lie. And, and on top of that, consider the simple fact that the push for the film in a few years is going to be there. You know, this would probably be a piece to get to actually have in the collection. Um, you know, just before the release of the actual film, we know they're gearing up for that. They've made a few announcements, a few announcements are going to be coming during Star Wars Celebration. So, yeah, definitely. And I'm pretty sure, you know what? They'll probably, Hasbro's going to have, they're going to definitely have a huge presence at Star Wars Celebration in Japan. You know what I mean? They're oh, gearing yeah. up for it. Everybody's gearing up for it. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, they'll definitely be there. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, this is coin. Some collectors aren't really on board with this segment. Um, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, you know, I think it's budgeted as its own kind of line. So it doesn't really yeah. affect anything else. You know, yeah. so I don't really mind it so much. Hey, if, if it brings more people into collecting, more kids that one day are mm -hmm. going to want the fancier stuff, keep that going longer, then I'm, I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely and plus like i said i mean the, the focus i know like the tvc line is hitting right now so this might kind of just kind of slightly fly into the radar uh but i mean still it's gonna have its draw because you know come on it's grogu and mando and any m1 starfighter i mean why not yeah definitely yeah it looks cool i'd like to see how it scales with the tvc version like yeah. once it comes out and Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I wouldn't display because I already have the TVC version, but I yeah. might put it on my desk at work, that kind of thing. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, cool, cool. All right, so the next thing here, next thing that we have is, uh, we're going to talk about something that uh, released today, and this was my uh, video that I released today. Mm -hmm. um so i've been doing what's called the tvc series and mm -hmm. there there were four videos planned from the beginning and this was the fourth one so the series is now concluded for the time being yeah uh, it will come back i know some people were, were saying oh no keep doing them but no it'll come back it's just i gotta focus on some other videos that, I, that i've been wanting to work on yeah 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 um but yeah so this is five what i call five viable has labs and viable i think is the key word because you know a lot of people might say oh they can make an Imperial shuttle has lab, or they can make the, the Jawa sand crawler, or they can make mm -hmm. this, they can make that, but it has to be viable, right? That's the only way they're going to be able to do something like this. Cause mm has -hmm. lab is, they said from the very beginning, it's, it's dream projects. Yeah. As Bruce said, this is for dream projects that we would not be able to do any other way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this right here, uh, it, it has to be viable. It has to be something that is, they're confident with right and i think the only way you do that is when you incorporate several elements i think you need to have uh the history of the mm -hmm. product is, is really important when you're talking about things like java sail barge the very first mm -hmm. um has mm -hmm. um you need i think you need um something that appeals to a lot of people mm -hmm. and i think the razor crest was great for that mm -hmm. and something that also ties into current media is very helpful as well like the razor yeah. crest like the ghost like the ghost happened. that's what i was about to say the ghost you know they're not too long ago yeah. the ghost itself so yeah i mean it kind of ties into you know of course we just had ahsoka and then of course we already know rebels um again it has to appeal and because they want to draw like i mean they just they don't you know you can't we have these dream product projects that we want like certain things that we want to see but it's residual gain. Like, what are they going to get back from it? You know what I mean? And if, if are, you know, will anyone support, you know, um, 
you know, vote with your, your wallet, you know, plain and simple. If it's something that you want to see, then there has to be enough attention drawn towards it for them to, you know, really, really say, OK, cool, that we could commit to it. So I can completely understand. Yeah, for sure. And I, I won't like spoil the whole video, but I will just say um, definitely check it out if you haven't already. But, yeah. you know, basically that's what it is. There's five has labs that I go over in this video mm -hmm. that um, I think would be viable. And yeah. I definitely think that the ultimate has lab that is revealed on May the 4th is going to, in fact, be one of the ones that's in this video. Mm -hmm. Um But, you know, we have a few more weeks to wait and see. And I also want to announce uh, here for the first time that. There will be a special um, Cantina Social Hour on May the 4th, which is on a Saturday. Mm. Um, next week, I will be unveiling the guests that will be uh, appearing. I am confirming those details right now, but we will have Cantina Social Hour, the normal show, Friday mm. night, May 3rd. And then uh, in the afternoon, Pacific time, uh, evening, uh, Eastern time we'll be doing Cantina Social Hour, uh, May the 4th edition. So we're going to be reacting to the HasLab because they're going to announce it that day. So I'm really, really, really excited to uh, for that stream. We'll get to talk about what it is, the mm -hmm. details and all that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> very cool. So yeah, May the 4th, it's going to be revealed. Save your money. Um, you know, some, some people buy more than one of the HasLabs too. They buy two, they buy three. I've seen some people buy like five or six. So I'm scared because <laughs> May the 4th is going to go off on so many different mediums. You know what I mean? It's already starting. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's gearing up. Yeah. They're definitely gearing up for it. It's going to be pretty lit. I mean, the, the, mm -hmm. the Bad Batch is ending. you got the Phantom Menace 3D or not 3D, mm -hmm. but like you're releasing into theaters. Mm -hmm. um, and then this HasLab is going to be like, and then, and then Tales of the Empire, right? Tales so of the Empire like, dropping. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be incredible. I can't I'm wait. Ecstatic. Yeah, heck yeah. I am ecstatic. Very cool. All right. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Uh, and again, next week I will be confirming the guests, the time, and all of that, all of that stuff. So special edition of Cantina Social Hour. Uh, and I do see a few friends have been joining in uh in the last little bit. So I just want to take a moment and acknowledge that you guys are being here. Tariq, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, absorb vids, how are you doing? Good to see you as well. <clears throat> Tim Hayes, how's it going, Tim? Good to see you once again. And very cool, very cool. All the cantina denizens from across the galaxy are joining in. Um, yeah, so Leah, have you backed any of the previous Haslabs that uh, the Hasbro has put out? The ghost for sure, and also the razor crest. You know what I mean? So that, you know, it was just, you know, pretty much a no brainer. Um, you know, I was really surprised. The ghost is, 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 is something that, honestly, to be quite honest, I never thought they'd do. Like, I really didn't think that there was going to be enough interest in that. Uh, but then I was like, yo, I played myself because I had to think about Ahsoka and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, definitely the ghost. I was really excited that they did it. It looked, it came out great. You know what I mean? It, it, it looks really, really good. I can't wait. Um, but again, like I said, I mean, it, it, because when you sit there, you talk about like dream projects, like, I mean, oh my God, like pieces that I definitely want um um from them you know I, I i was like yo i want a y wing a wing you know what i mean things that i just think about but again it has to be something that you know is draws a lot of attention at least enough you know i even wanted actually uh, uh grievous the starship as well that would be dope um but again it's just a matter of the attention given and provided but yeah, the the Razor Crest was no, but it was it, it put it this way: it was a no brainer until it blew up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like come on, man. Stop yeah, playing. that's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, there's like pros and cons to that because it's like it blew up, but now they can't at at show that on screen with more characters that you would need to have made into action figures. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. You gotta look mm -hmm. at the plus sides, and I'm like, true, it's true, gone, it's true. gone, but um, true. Hey, it lives on on my shelf. So. right right <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so no i'm yeah that's cool uh i i think this is gonna be a good one i have a feeling really good feeling about about mm -hmm. this and um I'm, I, it's gonna be a good one but i'm scared because my pockets man already i'm invested in so much already so 
It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We, we took some guesses last week um, about what it was going to, what it was. What were the guesses? Be. Like, what were you thinking? What, what, what do you think is so far? Well, there's, there's some very strong candidates. Um, I know people have been asking for the Death Star for a long time. Uh, people have been asking for the Maz Eisley Cantina for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and then like an obvious one, like for me personally, like right now, it's not, it wouldn't be my top choice, but um, the uh, the Havoc Marauder from the Bad Batch with the uh, Bad Batch. Like we, we only have one figure in the vintage collection. We have Hunter, mm -hmm. but we don't have any of the other members of the team. We don't have Omega. Yeah. And they made all of them in the Black Series. Mm -hmm. And it's been like years mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And so I'm like, well, maybe they were planning long term doing the Marauder and doing the figures at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like that would be kind of cool. And they're timing it to kind of coincide with the end of the Bad Batch. So I would, yeah. I would just say, you know, that's something to think about. And then, like I said, right now we have yet we don't know, especially with Omega's current story arc, we don't know where that's going to go and where it's going to take her. So. I guess it's sort of like a wait and see type of situation because we don't know what's going to happen with the bunch. Um, they're saying like, you know what, get your box of tissues out pretty soon. I'm like, yo, don't do that. Don't, uh, don't, 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 don't do that. Like really, really don't do that to us. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. And there's only like three episodes left or four, mm -hmm. something like that. And mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for it, but yeah, um, me neither. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm either, you know, whatever it is, you know, I think it's going to be great. It's cool that they're doing another vintage collection. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm st I'm stoked. I'm here for it. I'm ready. Yeah. We'll get it done. We'll back it and we'll have another yeah. HasLab to put. I don't know where. Somewhere. <laughs> You'll somewhere. find it somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere. Hey, Tommy, how's it going? All right, Tommy. I, you know, I always give you the shout out here because. I know you really want me to review that Arctic Batman figure from 1992. I'm going to get to it. It's taking me, what is it, 30 how many years now? I'm going to get to it. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, if you see any deals, Tommy, because it's expensive. If you see any de deals on eBay or somewhere, you let me know and, and I'll take a look. But um, yeah, I, I will get to it, Tommy. I know, I know you like to ask me this every time. And I trust me, it, it will happen. can't <laughs> say when, but it will happen. Don't worry. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Dave, how is it going, Dave? Road Killer, how are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, Jacob, how's it going? Awesome. So yeah, the Haslab. I am. I'm ready. I am ready. But again, save your money because you don't want to be that person that gets there and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. it's expensive. Haslab. It's a Haslab. It's gonna be expensive. We know that. Mm -hmm. Um, just you know, start mm -hmm. saving now. Mm -hmm. Scroll away a little bit of money. Little by little, and you know, just be prepared. Be prepared. Mm -hmm. Uh, middle aged Kiwi man, Kia Ora, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hopefully, lower price point. Yeah, very well possi possible. Um, if depending on what it is, if it's a smaller scale, maybe if it's not a big ship, then definitely I could see a lower price point. But yeah, I feel you there because I know that in, in over there in New Zealand, the yeah, I feel you that it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. These toys, um. All right. <clears throat> what do we have next on the list? Do we have some hot toys on the list? I think we do. We have a few of them. Mm, depending on which right. one, which but, but depending on which ones you've already talked about and haven't, or which one you haven't talked about. Okay, so we got the Umbra Operative Art Trooper, um, which there was some some really heavy heavy discussions about this one. This this one was was it was met. It was met with mixed reviews, not mixed reviews in a bad way. Well, it could be perceived as good and bad, you know, and I think it was, you know, once you give us a repaint Umber Trooper from, you know, pretty much the um, the game itself, um, it and then you slap an exclusive tag on it, which limits, you know, the opportunity for ind individuals to get it. You know what I mean? It was you know, a kind of kicking the back to a lot of people who wanted it. Um, you had to sit in the queue to get it. Um, you give us, you know, three interchangeable helmets for this particular piece, uh, but not a chance to get three different figures to get, you know what I mean? Three different looks. 
um, you know, they definitely limited this piece. It was only the 1500. You had to get in, in the queue. And if you didn't, you had to settle for basically purchasing overseas, which that becomes a problem because then, like I said, right after they sold out, people who bought multiple options or actually bought one, sold it for, you know, triple the amount of what you would actually got for retail. So, you know, as much as people wanted it, it was just, like I said, a, a double-edged sword where it, it looks good, a decent figure, you know what I mean? But it's like when you put it behind a paywall, that's when it, it kind of becomes like a really, really toxic sort of like discussion because people really wanted it. Like there were individuals who really wanted people who collect clones wanted this piece. You know what I mean? They wanted to actually have this. Um, but again, it was just one of those things where... You know, it, it just didn't, you know, it's from Battlefront, you know, people who have actually played either Battlefront 2, you would know. Um, but yeah, didn't matter. it didn't work out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're they're trying things like that, it seems like lately with some of the, the artists and figures and, you know, different things like I, me personally, I, I, I actually despise this, this, the look of this clone trooper, like it hurts for me to look at. Um, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I have the four, the three and three quarter inch vintage collection version, and it's like yeah. I never, it just I don't like I don't like it. Like it's, <laughs> I mean I appreciate that it's different for sure, but mm -hmm. it's just not my cup of tea. Like it I wasn't something that because again with this particular trooper it was, it was in the game. You know what I mean? So it was basically part of the actual game. I think it that it did make it into um a couple novels you know a couple of like you know books itself um but still you know when you're releasing something like this and you slap an exclusive tag on it is it really worth it at that point you know what yeah. i mean and that's that's the conversation like was this worth an exclusive tag and a lot of us didn't think it was you know what i mean it, it just it didn't you know and i and i think that for this, it was a miss for Hot Toys because they left a lot of money on the table for those who might have actually wanted it. But then, like I said, you slap an exclusive tag on this one where you could have made space for something else. Yeah. So, again, that moment is coming gone. Um, I, me personally, had no interest in getting it. You know, I'm really selective about the clones and which ones I get. Um, and it has to have like a certain, you know, I have a trajectory as to where I want my collection, how I want it to look. And, you know, I knew, you know, it, it would have been decent, like if it wasn't basically behind that paywall and made into an exclusive, then, you know, that discussion would have been made and, you know, I could have decided, okay, yeah, I want it or if I don't. But once they did that exclusive, I was like, yeah, I'm out. I checked out right even before it went up. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, <clears throat> the other thing, too, is like some of these, they announce them and then it's like a day or two, you know, later that it's it's already up. So if you haven't mm -hmm. arranged to make plans to even try to get it, it's, it makes it even harder. Yeah. Um, and that happened to me with like the Jack Sparrow. Like I, I had no idea until like later that day had gone up. I'm like, oh, they just barely announced that. Like, how is it already? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so I was a little bummed, but I wasn't I wasn't hugely upset or anything because I I do have the last one they did. I don't know. It's like the DX 15 or 16. Yeah. Is, but yeah. I have that. And then like, I think the gap between the artisan and in the, in, in the case of Jack Sparrow and the, the collector edition deluxe, it's not like a huge. It's not, gap. it's not really yeah. a huge gap. Like, you know what I mean? If it's the only thing is, like I said, with the wool implant for the artisan version, the other versions look great as well. I, it was crazy because when that one dropped, I was doing a live coverage you know, I was doing a live corner episode of that particular figure. And that's when people were like, yo, you know, this is going up for pre-order at one o'clock. And I was like, what? I hadn't even actually jumped in the queue at that, but that particular time, like I hadn't even RSVP. So I had to RSVP, then jump in the queue. I managed to get it. I think I was like number 20. I think I was like 2056 or something like that. So I did manage to pre-order, but I was just like, man, like a lot of people didn't know. Like no one had any idea it was going up. And that I think that the announcement was kind of poor. Like they just did it right then and there within a day. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's actually how I found out that it had gone up was was from your stream. Like I was watching it that night, like when yeah. I got home from work and I was like, oh, wait, what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, well. It was insane. <laughs> it was insane. That day was insane. Yeah. Britt's oh, asking yeah. which one mine is based on. It's the same one. It's... um. Dead Men Tell No Tales. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I kind of would have preferred a, 
uh, you know, the very first one, Curse of the Black Pearl, but I understand mm-hmm. they probably don't have the likeness rights anymore. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I like, mean, with that, especially with the controversy surrounding him and Disney yeah. right now, um, it's not to say that the, I mean, who knows? Who knows how it's going to actually be? But, I mean, I'd heard like they, it was plans. This one was planned and it was in the works before the trial before everything took place before everything they were going to actually do it but then they scrapped the idea and decided to do it decided to release it as an artisan version um you know to make it more of like exclusive um but yeah i mean you know it is what it is um you know you win some you lose some i actually like i said I, i managed to get it but i just felt bad for other people that you know wanted it and couldn't get it you know and that's the same for this figure you know what i mean there were people out there who wanted it who sat in that queue who you know signed up for it and, and the thing is about those queues it's like random select so even yeah. if you were if you rsvp'd day one even if you were basically the first person in the queue it they randomly select so it doesn't mean that you're going to be the first one chosen you can you can be the first one in that day and get thrown all the way back to like 380 or something like that so right. it's crazy yeah, it's very crazy. But yeah, this this Umbar Trooper, one thing I do like is how they how they threw in all the three helmets. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's kind of phase cool. one, phase two, and then you yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's it's neat. Mm-hmm. Neat. Again, I, I was never something I would have been interested in, but you know, I you know, with the stuff that's such so limited like this, you do feel for like those who really wanted it. Mm-hmm. Um was there a limit? Do you know? Like did they limit it to like one per purchase? One per or? person. It was one okay. per person. Yeah, that's that's so you only good. actually had a chance to get one, but you know, there's people out there that probably got multiple accounts that, yeah, you know, true. can log in their, and grab two or grab three or whatever. So have you know, order one or yeah, that's that's pretty much how it normally would be. So, right. <clears throat> which thing you feel bad because it's like, yo, I know there's people out there who want it. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't like this, like the Anakin. I had no plans at first to get that Anakin. Uh, but then once Ahsoka hit, I was like, man, I want it. So now it's like, I got to wait until it drops just to see if I can get my hand on one. I mean, that was the artist version as well. So, yeah, I mean, again, I, I get, you know, and, and a lot of people have been asking, they said they wanted exclusivity and they got it. So when you say you want exclusivity, that means it's you're limiting the chances for other individuals to get it as well. So you got right, what you wanted. True. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, the Anakin was was like the one I did not want to miss out on, mm-hmm. and I I was it said like one minute until you you go in to per- make your purchase, and then it said sold out. So I was really bummed out, but I got lucky because a few weeks later my wait list converted. So oh okay I, okay uh, you know I lucked out there, but um yeah mm-hmm. like because I got that one I, like any other one for me is just kind of extra. Like that's one I could not miss, but like mm-hmm. anything else I'm able to get. I got the Joker, but as far as artisan, like I haven't really like I didn't try for. Scarlet Witch or any of the others. Yeah, I managed um, to get Scarlet Witch because I really wanted that 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 that, that suit. That yeah. was that's pretty much my favorite look. So I was like, you know, I, I wanted to have that one, especially because it was from um, Infinity Wars and Endgame. So I was like, yeah, I, I definitely want to get that one. Um, but who knows? And then, like I said, it's, it's I'm nervous because you you already know, and if you haven't seen, you know, with the uh, the current Dark Side run that they got going on right now. And the possibility of us getting both Star Killer and Revan, um, you know, they're going to again the the, the fourth, uh, uh, you know, the fifth brother, fourth sister. We might, you know, definitely get that um, soon. So May the fourth and everything that's coming up, it's going to be hard. And they might. And, and the thing is, I was thinking about this with Phantom Menace. So let me ask you, Victoria, what if they decided to give us an artist in Qui Gon? Uh. <laughs> if they said we wanted to give you an artist in Qui-Gon from Phantom Menace, what would you do? I'd probably have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, it's crazy. Like, we don't know yet what they're going to do, and especially with the anniversary and May the 4th coming up or May the 5th coming up. Like who, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it it's, ah, uh, who yeah. knows? Who knows? Maybe who they knows? do uh, an artisan Darth Maul and like his, his horns are made of actual bone or something. <laughs> <laughs> or they can do an artisan, like somebody said, an artisan Queen Amidala. Yes, um, you know, we could definitely see that. 
Uh, they can give us an artisan Obi Wan with the Padawan tail. Uh, yeah. There's so many different things that they get, yeah, Adam. There's so many different things that they can actually do. Um, it's just a wait and see. Isn't you know we, we the thing is based off of the dark side list and everything that they've shown already. Um, we already know we're going to get another mall. I mean, he yeah. was basically featured. He was one of the main ones. Um, you know, and they made the announcement about. And the only thing that I was kind of bummed out about um was them not to give us basically a size your press of uh you know and and um and and a size ventures i'm sorry um and um you know oppress why they didn't give us those figures and why those weren't featured as well but yet you actually have a moth getting in there from the mandalorian and i was like okay it, it it at first it didn't make sense but then i was like okay dark side what if basically that's a clone that was force sensitive that he created who knows? Um, but I just thought that there was more opportunity to give us more. But they did say with more exclusives to come. So that yeah. means that there were certain figures they didn't feature on that list that we could probably still get. You know what I mean? Uh, right. So, yeah, just got to wait and see. We got to wait and see. Yeah. Um, it'll be interesting um, with this, you know, being the 20th. Yeah, twenty fifth anniversary of the Phantom Menace. Mm -hmm, like, are they mm -hmm. how how far are they going to go down that route? That's what I'm saying. Like, how far would they go? Would they give us? Because I know a lot of people have been wanting a young Annie with the Pod Racer as well. People have been wanting a a, a Padme or you know Queen Amidala and her different garbs. Um, you know, of course, a uh, uh, a Padawan Obi Wan. People have been wanting. You know, uh, with the with the mall. I mean, considering the simple fact that the last DX that we got you know, uh, came with a speeder. Um, and, and, you know, um, it, that was decent. That one, I, that was, you know, one of the yeah. biggest options. So I'm like, well, what are they going to do next? What would you do next with mall? What would be the next one? So right. know, we got to see. Yeah, we'll see. And this is it right here. The power of the dark side. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think they did the two most important inquisitors already. Yeah. Um, I'm, but based on how those came out, like they're phenomenal. Yep. Like, like the Reva is like, the Reva's incredible. <laughs> she's amazing. The grand um, inquisitor is credible. And I just got my Vader two weeks ago. So I'd have them all displayed down here with their led, um, uh, sabers nice. lit up. Um, it, it's, it's, Again, they need to give us the other two. I, I got, I've been pushing. I'm like, come on, give us the fifth brother, fourth sister. I want to complete that line. I want to have all the inquisitors there. Uh, so definitely, and considering the simple fact, the fourth sister is now she's featured in Tales of the Empire. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's a no brainer, you know. And it was crazy because if you know, watching that trailer, you also see Morocco in there as well. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. I mean. So. That and I didn't even know when I was talking about this, like on the show on Wednesday, I had no idea that that figure went to wait list. No idea, and it was waitlisted. And I was like, that means it might have been a small run, or people gained interest after they saw the trailer for Tales of the Empire. It's like, okay, yeah, let me pick it up real quick. So I don't know, and it, it could have been a couple of different things. Yeah, it's it's an interesting initiative for sure. Um, so you know, we'll see what they end up doing. Like. It's interesting too because there's some on here like the Palpatine was already, uh, you know, that's, that's up for order already. And mm -hmm. then like Dooku, it's like, are they going to bring him back? Are they going to bring him back, you know, Kylo Ren? Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to just see them bring well, back Kylo Ren. But what if, and I was talking about that, I was like, okay, they had Kylo featured. Would they release another version? And how would they do it? And it dawned on me. I was like, okay from what we're seeing right now, that version looks like the rise of Skywalker, either the mm -hmm. rise of Skywalker or, you know, uh, the last Jedi I'm, I'm thinking leaning more towards rise of Skywalker. Yes. His hair was long. They could actually give us an artisan version of, <laughs> they could, they, I'm just, that's the thing is like, you never know the, the, the one that you would least believe or expect them to do or suspect that they would actually do. They'll end up doing like, you know what I mean? Like, Kylo, we already know that that figure, and you know, we're talking about the the sequels. For a lot of people, was very divisive. They didn't like it, you know, 
and there were some shortcomings, but there were I take the good from the bad in any type of movie I see. So there were certain things and elements that I took from it. I think Kylo Ren's story was very dope. I I, I was one that was pushing. I was hoping that like we would have never gotten a redemption story from him. I didn't want him to be redeemed, <laughs> but we knew that's where it was going. But as far as the figure, I think they can definitely give us an artist inversion. You know what I mean? You know, possibly mm. of that particular figure. Um, and it could make sense, but I don't know. It's it's with them or or and and okay, what about this though? Because if you see off to your far right, there's Count Dooku. What yeah. if they actually gave us an artist inversion of Count <laughs> Dooku? What would you do then, Victoria? What would you do? I mean, <laughs> would he, he have? Would he have like a soft beard? That's what I want to know. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just go with the hair. You have to actually give him the beard too. Make the beard look as realistic as possible. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's make it happen. It'd be cool if they did another one. I mean, the last yeah. one is is nice, but it it's not like it. You know, it's not. If they were to redo it now, it would definitely be a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it would be interesting to see if they if they do mm -hmm. that. But yeah, this is cool. Um, Revan, I think you know, I'd have to get if they if they if they do Revan. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see. Just not too much all at once. That's all I ask them. Not too much all because these Ahsoka figures have been coming like. Oh my god, they have been crazy. Like, and the thing is, I'm a sucker because I have to. Like for me, I I'm a completionist. So if I get, I have to get them all and I have pretty much every last one of them pre-ordered and it's still more than I want. You know what I mean? I want them to give us, I've been pushing. I'm like, please give us a Morgan. I want a Morgan so bad. Give us the night sisters. Uh, you already know that we need who Yang. We, we need Ezra. Uh, you know what I mean? I want a Mon Mothma. Come on, just go down the line and just start pulling everybody in. Cause like I'm, the, the line is incredible, but there's a lot. There is so much like there's a lot. There's so much. I mean, I could, you know, I really want, I'd, I'd want to get them all, but, you know, I just, yeah, it's I, tough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. <laughs> too many, too many. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what, uh, mm -hmm. what they do. But, um, yeah, so in addition to uh, the power of the dark side and the operative uh, Umbra Trooper, mm -hmm. uh, there was another one, right, that we saw pictures of this week. New pictures of, anyway. We, we knew it was already coming. Um, but <clears throat> let's see if I can find this here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a look at the 501st Legion yeah. Trooper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are the blogger picks that came out um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. earlier this week. So we're now getting to see what you know the bloggers are doing with this Iowa first stripper. And I saw your stream about this one. Yeah. Um. So it's uh, it, it's an interesting one, right? Because I mean, you think of all the clone troopers that are in mm -hmm. Star Wars. There's so many, and mm -hmm. it's it's just kind of funny that they're redoing one they already did, like the same mm -hmm. like Legion Five Hundred First. Yeah, Fable First Legion with the repaint. Um, and it's a lighter blue from so they're it looks what they're doing is in in with this particular figure. Come I mean again, this is mainly listed from the book of Boba. I'm sorry, um Obi-Wan. So they're trying to distinguish this one from um, of course, uh the Clone Wars version. Um, so they, you know, totally different color palettes, two totally different, you know, um, even body types in a sense, like it's it's different. Um, but you just wondered why. So I guess it's to kind of distinguish live action from, you know, the animated, you know, what we've gotten there. Um, but, you know, and I'm not, it was a, a few people talking about how shiny it really was versus the others. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, it sort of makes sense um, that, that it would be that way. We're talking about and on top of that, like, you know, what we got from the clones from, you know, whether it was, you know, Attack of the Clones you know, whether it was, you know, uh, Revenge of the Sith, everything was animated, you know, and it was all CGI at that point, you know, you now, whereas with these, there's people actually inside of the suits. Uh, so they wanted to make it as practical as possible. So, of course, the look is going to be different. Um, but I, you know what the thing is, and originally I passed on these because I was like, yo, what am, I just way too many clones, whatever. But I also said I wanted to wait until we got the blogger photos to see if it was going to translate well. 
And then after seeing it, I was like, yeah, I got to get it because I was like, I also got to get my hands on an Anakin as well. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pass it up. Um, so I, and, but, but I, again, for me, rule of two, I always got to stay within that two lane. I don't go beyond rule of two. So, yeah. Yeah. Always two there are. Yeah. Um, I heard someone say too, that they swapped like the torso or like, it's not the one that was originally shown in the, in the prototype images. Mm -hmm. Like now it has the old style torso or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They did swap it out because again, there were some comments about it. And a lot of people wanted the original look, uh, you know, because they said, you know, here's the thing. Like I said, we already know that hot toys isn't as transparent as we want them to be. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> They only judge their responses are more so based on how we interact in their Facebook group. And they won't definitely tell you unless they get like an overwhelming amount of criticism. And then they'll actually put out a disclaimer to let you know that they're making some minor changes. They didn't do it, do that with this one. They just changed it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I, I, I get that. I, I kind of prefer they would have they would have stuck with it though, just because it is based on the costume, you mm -hmm. know. From mm -hmm. but oh well. Um, mm -hmm. Same thing though here. Like I initially I did not order because I already had three of the other one. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, as time went on, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a clone trooper. It's time of first. I'm like, and yeah. it's from Obi Wan. And if you know, for anybody who would get their hands on the Anakin artisan version to have two of these flanking would be incredible. So it definitely is something to think about. It definitely is. Yeah. You know, initially I, I, I didn't get it and then it went to wait list. And then, you know, of course when it goes to wait list, you're kind of like, Oh, I should have gotten it. But, um, I did get one from big bad toy store. And then I did yeah. order one from pop culture in Australia. There you go. There you um, go. And so, you know, I do have two, two coming and I think ultimately it's cheaper than Sideshow anyway, but yeah. it's just funny because this is not the first time, but after I ordered those, I then got an email from Sideshow saying, Hey, you know, you, do you want one now? Like here, you know, you're off the wait list. Well, you can get one. Yes. Like, you guys, like you should have did that a long time. And, but then it, it lets you know, it, it kind of makes you think about, whether or not it was actually, I think they gauge the interest. You know what I mean? They they want to know who's interested in them. So what they'll do is they'll hold it. They'll limit the amount that you can pre-order at first just to see who's interested in it. Then for me, I actually got mine through Ray from Underground. Um, and, you know, at first he had one, but then he managed to secure a second one. So he let me know today. And I was like, oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. But um, yeah, you can get it. I mean, they're out there to get in certain spaces. Size Joe, they've been playing this game for the longest time, but you know, they they know how to do it. They they know yeah, how to play do. it. So you know, yeah, and you know what's worked out for me recently too. I know sh I shared this a few streams ago, but like Amazon Japan, like you can get some of these like pretty inexpensively. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know about this one here, but there's definitely some like the the Battle Droid I got. It was for like less than two hundred dollars, like shipped. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I mean, like some of those are some of those are you know, it's it's a nice option to have. Mm. um but yeah, yeah this this looks cool i'm uh you know i do wish they retained the old body but you know i'm I'm happy to i yeah. just you know what i do hope i will say i do hope that it, it kind of matches the uh the upcoming the new captain rocks from ahsoka because i think that would kind of look nice mm. if it did but who knows it probably won't though because it's too <laughs> yeah that's the thing like as as good as it would look the downside to that is the colors you know because if you look at that rex from ahsoka it is more of that deeper blue. Right. You know what I mean? So it I, I think you know what in any case, it would still look good next to them, but it's definitely the colors, you know, for people who are sticklers about you know continuity and stuff like that, you know, it it's yeah. it'd probably be an issue. So we have to blame it on Lucasfilm. It's it's not hot toys' fault, or you know, yeah, they're yeah. the ones that didn't keep it consistent. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like I said, I the, live action, and you would actually take that figure, I mean that character, and you change the color. That's what I didn't real. I didn't understand why it changed, but I guess they wanted to basically the translation from the Coruscant Legion troopers that we got versus, you know, the private battalion with Rex. So I don't know. It's it's. You know, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing, but I guess they felt as though, look, we want to make money. Lucasfilm wants to make money. They could do what they want. So, right. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, Adam, yeah, you uh, if you buy one, it's not going to be the last one. I can definitely tell you that. Adam, I'm going to tell you. I'm, <laughs> Adam, let me give you a word of advice, bro. You got to treat Hot Toys figures, one six scale figures like a tattoo. Because once you get one and you really like it, you're going to want a second one. Before you know it, you got a full sleeve. So pace yourself. <laughs> do some research. <laughs> um, you know, because once you get one, you go down that line. It's like you're hooked. Trust me. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely a rabbit hole. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah, middle-aged Kilo man, same thing. I mean, it, yeah, you're, you're not going to buy just one. It's just, it's just not how it happens. It's like it, everybody starts with one, right? Mm -hmm. And you might think, Hey, it's, it, this is the only one I just, you know, it's special occasion. I'm buying it cause it's my birthday or, you know, I want, I want it for Christmas, but it's not going to be the last one. Mm -hmm. not, it just mm -hmm. doesn't work that way. Never works that way at all. It, you um, think it does, but it doesn't. Nope, not at all. <laughs> like I started with, you know, obviously, like I said, everybody starts with one. Mine was was Princess Leia from A New Hope. It was my Christmas mm -hmm. gift in mm -hmm. 2016, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, I don't think I'm gonna need any more than that. You know, I'll just I'll just put her on the shelf. It should be like a special collectible. That I'll mm -hmm. have. And then yeah, and then you had to. My very first figure was okay. So again. It was like what 2015, 24. It was basically right after Force Awakens. Um, and for some reason, the algorithm, knowing that I was just doing like a, a lot of research, you know, I was researching Black Series, like just different iterations of Kylo Ren at that time. Cause I thought the figure I was like, yo, you know, Star Wars is research, it's a resurgence now. You know, we got the sequels, Force Awakens took off. I was like, oh, yeah, I have to have that figure. And then I saw an algorithm with sideshows, Kylo. And then I saw, you know, the the uh, companion piece of Ray. And then I started seeing like all these different companion pieces with Finn, uh, the troopers, like the I mean, the the the, the first order troopers, um, you know, the snow troopers. Yep. And then I went back and started getting all the grails. I, you know what I mean? I got Obi-Wan, um, Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan, uh, the, the Han Solo, Chewie, Tupac. And it was like the rest was history. I just went down that line. I couldn't stop. Funny how it happens. Yeah. Funny how it happens. Yeah. All right. So one little topic that we have, uh, and it was just kind of a spontaneous thing, but it's missing hot toys that are have never been made. Some maybe have been mm -hmm. shown, but they've never actually been released for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. Like Hot Toys does this sometimes. They'll show show them at conventions or the, yeah. you know, there'll be pictures out there or something that just never happens. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we talked about five that we could talk about uh, just yeah. really quick that that would be like dream figures or would be mm -hmm. something that we've seen that never came out that we would mm -hmm. absolutely love hot toys to make. So yeah. Do you want to get us started Leo with your, your, with one of your picks? Well, I think for a lot of us hot toys collectors who've, you know, been in the game for a while, uh, you know, especially with grail pieces, I would say number one is one that they've been showing for the longest time. They've showed us this figures for this figure for ages. It's been featured at different cons. It's been in purgatory for the longest time. The one figure that I wanted was the Death Star Gunner, right? So that's the one that we definitely wanted. We, you know, with that, we're also with the base, with the diorama, you know, base that comes with it, uh, mm -hmm. with the station. They've done this twice and still have not released that figure. And I'm like, come on, man, please, really? Like, when are you going to release it? So hopefully we'll see it again or we, they'll, they'll just dip back in and give us that figure. But it's a wait and see. Yes, it's funny because that's actually one I have had on my list as well as the Death Star Gunner. Yeah. Um, I mean it's it's a classic design. It goes back to the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I like I like troopers. I don't, you know, I'm more into like the clone troopers than I am the stormtroopers. Like I only have a yeah. few stormtroopers, but I like to have at least one of each version of the different Imperials. So yeah. like that's kind of a, a pretty glaring omission, I would say, is is not having mm -hmm. the Death Star Gunner. Yeah, yeah, that one definitely is um that 
Um, it was, man, it was a curse that they, you know, during the time that we got Rogue One, um, you know, we had gotten, you know, Jen Erso, um, you know, we gotten K2SO, uh, you know, uh, uh, cheer it in way we got that figure as well like everything that we actually got from that line um krennic uh you mm -hmm. know we got um even the patrol trooper from there as well but they teased bays malmus and never released it and i was like it didn't make sense to me considering the simple fact that if you look at the heavy mando it's almost the same make, same body and everything, even with the same cannon that he carries around. But they didn't give us bays like they sat on it for a while and then removed. And I don't know if there was a licensing issue or a problem with the actor. But come on, man, you gave us everything else from that line. And you didn't give us that figure. I was like, I was so disappointed. Definitely disappointed. All right. I mean, there's some characters that just go together. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, you know, you think about what they what they did with um, with Ahsoka when they did both um, Shin Hati and and uh, Balin Skull together. Like, yeah, they go. You need you can't have one without the other. And yeah. it's kind of the same with Bays and Shirut. So it's like, how did they never get around? Yeah, to doing it? But yeah. It, it's like you say there there may be some reason we're we're not you know privy to. Yeah, definitely. I, I it, it there there has to be a logical reason why they didn't do it. Um, to have the conversation like we we, you know, I, well, guess we'll never know. We'll we'll it's it's one of those situations. The situations right now, we'll never know. And it's just like we gotta wait and see what they say. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Britt makes a good point here too that that the vintage collection doesn't have bays. We have Chirrut, but not bays. So see, yeah, Maybe there's something there. That's 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 that's. I don't know. It could be the actor's likeness, you know, issue with him and, you know, his team. Maybe there's just like, nah, we don't want. I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 really, really, really tricky. You know what I mean? It's, it's the tricky situation. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Lucasfilms, they're still kind of pissed at him because like during uh, the con, yes. at the time, remember he leaked. <laughs> the death of Turret. Yeah, he's so maybe they're like kind of pissed at him and said, like, you know what? Nah, we don't want any type of merchandise. <laughs> so yeah. Poor guy. Um mm -hmm. uh, so another I have on my list is one that was mentioned earlier here in the chat, and that's Queen Amidala from mm -hmm. the Phantom Menace. You know, just her classic gown that we see at the beginning of the film with the lights on the bottom. Like that would be a killer figure to have. Yeah. Um if they executed it that way, you know, with the lights, with maybe they even do it like the soft hair um, and they dial in the likeness, like that would be a fantastic display piece. Yeah, definitely it would, especially with the light up LEDs. That would be incredible. Definitely. Man, do we think, I mean, because the thing is, it's like, you know, the different headdresses, like the different, you know, piece. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense. It makes yeah. so much sense. You know what I mean? Um, even actually, you know, they, they can give us that, uh, you know, <laughs> they can give us her disguise, the disguise version, her as just Padme. You know, they can give us her bodyguards at the time, the, you know, the handmaid, the, the maidens as well. Like, why not? Like, it's just so many different things they could have given us. I've me myself, if we're going down that line, like I said, I would definitely have wanted to get like more of the council, like Barra mm -hmm. Sophie, uh, you know, give us Kiati Monday, Monday. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, oh man, it's so many that I would have actually wanted them to dip into, considering the simple fact that we got a chance to see him in action as well. Um, but didn't Kit Fisto was one that was teased at the cons a few years back. Didn't get yeah. that. Didn't get that. There we go. Yep. Didn't get that. So I'm I just I I don't know how this whole thing works, but it was definitely opportunity, but it just never fell through. Yeah, that's true. I do have a Jedi on my list as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'll just show the picture just in case anybody doesn't know who she is. I'm sure most most people know <laughs> who she yeah. is, but um I, I always thought that this one would make a really nice hot toy, Ayla Sakura. Yeah, Ayla Secure. Yes. 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 
Yes, she would. She definitely would. I mean, with the blue skin, with the tailoring, I mean, definitely. Um, and articulation would have been on point. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, pretty much all of them, you know, at least. And here's the thing, because I was talking about this last week. I'm like, okay, because we know we have a dark side run coming up. What if they give us a, a light side run? What will we get then? Mm. What would be the possibility? Could they dip back and give us the counsel? Because I think it would make so much sense. Yeah. We definitely need more Jedi. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, there's so many of them in the prequels, right? It's like, you can't really, can you have too many Jedi? Not really. There's so many and they're all unique. And some of them look kind of similar with outfits, you know, but mm -hmm. you know, once you look at the heads on a lot of these aliens, Jedi, you know, they're, they're different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so she would definitely be. And you know what, what, you know what I really want, which one has been the highest on my list? Shock T. I mean, I just think yeah. it's a beautiful character. And I'm like, yo, Shock T would be incredible. Give me a Shock T. I am all the way in. If you actually get, give us an Adi Gallia. Yo, come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm in. Yeah. Yaddle. Yaddle. Definitely. And that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, especially with, with, with Tales of the Jedi, that's an opportunity because Yaddle basically be, definitely became a fan favorite. Like she, she's been on, on, in talks with a lot of people. So definitely, I think that would have been a dope one to give us. Yeah. There are so many, like, that would be really, really, really mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see if they, if they, I mean, we never got that kid Fisto. So I hope they, nah. at some point they find a way to squeeze him in, you mm -hmm. know, maybe yeah. when it's a little slow and there's not as many Star Wars shows and stuff, but. Um, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're holding me for some reason. And the thing is, it's like, well, there's no likeness rights that you would have to worry about. You know what I mean? So come on, like, let's just make it happen. Yeah, for sure. Um, what others do you have on your list that you'd like to see made? Um, well, I'm okay. So I'm definitely hoping, all right, I'm hoping a size Ventress soon, especially since she's been featured. I mean, what we've seen, or it depends on what version. If it's the dark side version, I'll take it. But if we also get the version that we've they've recently gotten, uh, uh, you know, since her appearance on the Bad Batch, I'd want that. Um, let me see who else. Um, what I want? Oh, oh, a dark side Ray. Um, if they gave us a dark side Ray, I would love that. Even if it's exclusive, yeah. they can give us something like that. Um, who else? Um, I would definitely want this guy's Leia Bausch if they would actually give us that figure. Um, yeah. I would love to have that, you know, paying more, even more homage to, to, to Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia character. You know, mm -hmm. I would love that. Um, even give us like the award ceremony, um, Leia from, um, you know, A New Hope. Um, yes. That version of Luke as well in a yellow jacket. Uh, I would love to have that or give us both training Luke and Leia from, you know, right. I mean, um, from, um, yeah, rise of Skywalker. And we got a chance to see that montage. Um, I would love that. Um, man, there is so, 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 so many, so many that I would actually want to see. Of course, you know, I would want them to, you know, dip back, give us, uh, a, what was it? Uh, uh, um, I've been saying this for the longest time and I know like, look, I kind of divorce the characters that the actors uh, uh, antics outside of the film. I just divorce it from it. Yes, they might have done certain things, but if the character was important, I would love to see it, you know, just to actually have that as a figure. But of course, we know what it never, especially now, it's never going to happen. Um, you know what I mean? And that would have been. Um, from uh 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 the mandalorian what was her name um uh uh caradun Car yeah Car cardoon uh yeah definitely they could have gave us a grieve cargo you know what i mean it, it would have yeah. been the perfect opportunity to give us a grieve car cargo but they didn't do that um yeah i'm surprised but, about that one yeah cardoon listen I mean, I definitely didn't agree with what she said and, and what was going on, but the, as character, even if they would have recast the character, I felt as though that character would have definitely been important. Recast. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure people would have understood that. Just recast. Just add somebody, put somebody else in that role. We'd have been cool with it. 
<laughs> I would have been cool with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna show one that. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm jumping ahead. Um, yeah, there's so many. I mean, like I thought I could just yeah. list five, but now you know you're mentioning all these others too. There's a lot of them but, out there. That, and that's the thing is, it's like we always talk about it. Um, you know, we we always mention the figures that we would definitely want to see and that they could give us. Um, you know, I definitely want a Night Sisters three pack. If they can give us that, I would be incredible to get. Uh, I definitely, definitely, like I said, high up on my list right now is a Morgan. I need to have a Morgan in my collection, so I definitely want that. Um, and I know there was there's still a lot of figures that people wanted from even Return of the Jedi's anniversary, 40th anniversary there. Um, you know, they could have gave us an Admiral Akbar, they could have gave us a nine um of uh, you know, again, mine mon moth 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 from there. They could have gave us the you know general um you know Lando Calarizian there as well. Um mm -hmm. Again, I mean, there's there's a lot that we could have gotten, but I understand. Yeah, you know, I you mentioned um, Leia from the end of A New Hope, and you know the, mm -hmm. the medal ceremony. Like, mm -hmm. I think like getting a Luke too with like that yellow jacket. Yes, really cool. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Like, I'm like, you. There's so much opportunities. You have the IP, so much in the wheelhouse you can play around with. So many different iterations of Leia that we had. Like, why not? You know what I mean? That one would really go off. And I think that that those would get waitlisted quick because they're grails, this classic OT. I mean, OG, you know what I mean? Come on, let's go. I would love to see it. Yeah, there's so many. We'll see what mm -hmm. happens. I mean, they're always releasing things and announcing things and showing things that don't get re released at times. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I still think about, too, even like the Super Battle Droid that they showed. Um, mm -hmm. I, think, I think it was maybe at Celebration or it was at comic con a couple years back but the super battle droid was was originally based on the mandalorian rather than attack mm -hmm. of the clones so yeah know, it looks you know different not necessarily better just different before they yeah. decided to go attack of the clones which i think ultimately was the right decision but yeah i mean yeah, you can still be used cool. both for both what about the yeah. droid decals they could give us those as well i would love to have a few of those in the oh yeah so, yeah, yeah i would cool. definitely want to actually have that but i don't um, know it's just a wait and see type of situation. See what we yeah. get. And I think even stuff from Solo, like they they did him, but they didn't do Lando. They didn't do Kira. Like those would have been great, but mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. maybe the ship has sailed on those. Unfortunately, unless they show up and you know if that Lando series ever ever happens. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Okay. There, there's 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 there, there are many that I was like, you know what, it would be interesting, but we know how sideshow works. You know, they're looking at, you know, something that they can definitely make a profit from. So that means it has to be a level of popularity there for them. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a wait and see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, should we talk about Star Wars Outlaws for a minute? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All which right. is which is weird. It's interesting, though, because it's being met with mixed results, like mixed reviews. Like a lot of people were upset at the game because there was you know a lot of people were like you know well you're wasting your time with a game like this when you could have gave us a you know a, a kotor revisit um you know this is sent around centered around a character that nobody cares about i'm like well but it's an interesting world and mm -hmm. you could see some more of the familiar characters there so i was like i'm, I'm definitely interested in, you know a bit in this yeah um I'm seeing some of that. I'm also seeing some of the typical, oh, why would you, you know, make a, a big video, Star Wars video game, you know, with mm -hmm. a female protagonist. It's like, we but go. we just had Fallen Order and 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 those mm -hmm. games. And it's like, like that wasn't an issue. It's like, why are, you know, why do people why now? To go there? Why now? Know? I mean, but that's, that's, I mean, that's the narrative for some reason that, you know, it's the sad part about it is though, it's familiar territory and you're used to it now. But I, I was asking this question before, like even though, why do I have to get used to that behavior? Perpetuated behavior against a female protagonist that people feel as though they don't, or they're afraid. I, I don't want to say afraid, but 
I guess there's like an inferior type of situation there where they feel as though they, you know, a spot is being taken, it's being occupied by the same pushback that we got from, you know, which um, my I cannot wait uh, to basically see um, the acolytes and what we're going to get from that. I'm so excited about that show, but it's just like any type of female centered, uh, you know, IP, it always garnishes a level of pushback as if it's not good enough. And I hate that. Like, I really hate it. I hate the conversation. I've gotten away. I've checked out of a whole bunch of groups because of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I've really gotten away from a, low, a whole bunch of groups because, it again, it was like perpetuated toxic, you know, mentality. And it spreads like Chinese whispers. And I just don't have any time for them. I am just like, I always want to question people. Do you love your mom? Like, do you really love, do you love your mother? She's <laughs> probably one of the strongest people that you know in your life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, strong individual, yet we're complaining about things and not giving things a chance. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for this game. You know, we always talk about we want something that's going to be expansive. We want a whole new world, a different world, a host of characters that we're not familiar with. And we're getting that. And once we get it, then it's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's too different. I want, I want, I want what's familiar. You know what I mean? It's like, well, what do you want? Make up your mind. Just make up your mind. Yeah, for sure. No, that's very well said. And it, yeah, it's just, it's annoying at this point. It's like, it's old. It's, it's the same thing, you know, over and over. Yeah. It's like, come on guys. Like, what? Well, let's focus on the game itself, you know, what we're seeing and it, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm in, Bro. you know, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, I, I, I don't know much about her little pet, her little critter, but um, I'm already hooked just based on that. I love I, I love the look. I, the thing is, it looks like it's going to be a fun game. It's it's a part of the look. We you know they're giving us certain things that are familiar. You know, just to see Jabba, to, you know, to see Han and, and and still frozen in Carbonite. You know what I mean? And just seeing it through another character's eyes. You know, I think it's it's phenomenal. If when I look at it like this, when we rally behind characters like this, you know. Um, uh i was like pretty much i was a fan like I, anybody knows i'm a, I'm a super fan of battlefront 2 and i love the Iden, Iden versio uh storyline it was incredible i loved that storyline you know what i mean i loved because it was so much potential there the thing is it's like there's room for everybody there's space for everybody to kind of breathe and 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 to showcase and you know whether it's male female it's, it, and we see that these you know they can coexist in the same space Stop pushing back. If you, the more we support yeah. the stuff like this and IPs like this, the more we get. We get more out there. We get more things that, you know, that that are, you know, uh, more more things. It, it, the thing is, it's like we get more from the universe itself, more expanded galaxy. But when we're shutting down an IP just because it's, you know, a woman lead, I tell people like, and I get pushed back about this all, all the time, Victoria. I love Ray. <laughs> I do. I love the character Ray. I'm so excited about that film once it drops. I'm amongst basically the people that I know. I'm amongst a minority of individuals who actually love the character's growth. Look, was Rise of Skywalker, was, you know, uh, The Last Jedi, I mean, uh, uh, The Last Jedi, you know, a bit controversial when it came to certain choices. Yeah, it was a little bit out of there, but you can't deny the story arc. And I think Daisy Ridley did such an amazing job with what was given to her. And I yeah. can't wait to see her growth. You know what I mean? My favorite figure of all time, and people know that, my, you already know it, is Jen Erso. I love Rogue One. It's basically on my top three of my favorite Star Wars films of all time. And I love the character's growth. You know what I mean? I, I love seeing that character's journey. And why can't we get behind that? When we are so short-sighted and we start shutting things like that down, we shrink the universe. People are always talking about, well, you know, the Star Wars universe is so expansive. Why are we only talking about the Sky, you know, the Skywalkers and what's going on in that universe? Yeah. Why can't we talk about, okay, so when we get it, it doesn't matter if it's a male or female. When we get it, why can't we get behind that? Why are we so ready to basically tear it down? When we do that, we shrink this universe. We taint the IP because of our own mentality, our own misguided intentions. This right here, I can't wait for this game to drop. I can't. I pre-ordered it already. So when it drops, I'm in there. I'm a sucker for Star Wars. I always will be. And I yep. can't wait. Let's go. Yeah, for sure. Well said. And I really like um, 
There are Bob's comment mm -hmm. here. You know, some Star Wars fans need to realize that new Star Wars content does not change the previous Star Wars content. You don't have to like everything. It's a big galaxy. It spans thousands of years. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, oh, wow. And he also says that Rogue One beats out the Empire Strikes Back as his favorite. Man, Rogue One. I mean, Empire is going to always be. So for me, it's crazy because I have Empire new hope and then for me rogue one then jedi <laughs> because it's what they did they took a risk they swung and they achieved on so many different levels when it comes to rogue one and what they did and what they were able to do and how the characters it was like a magnificent seven for me in mm -hmm. the star wars universe and what they were able to do with these characters and the storyline and the depth of it was so important. And I think that transition between that film going into New Hope meant so much because it was something that we wanted to actually see. And I think they achieved it. And I just love Jen Erso. I love that character. I love that character to death. And that's why it's one of my favorite uh, figures to have in my collection. But again, like, look, the more Star Wars, the better. I just tune out the negativity. I turn that down and I just love what I love, regardless of what yeah. people say. Um, I was excited the other day that Daisy really announced that there is a script. The script is done. They greenlit the script and she'll have it. She's reading it. I was excited because I'm like, I'm like, now we can move forward with that film. I'm definitely going to support it. Uh, I can't wait for the Acolytes. You know, I can't wait for Dave Filoni's films. More Star Wars we get. Ahsoka season two is popping off. I think Ahsoka was, it was an amazing show. Um, so yeah, man, let's just support it. Get out there, support it, and just stop with the negative stuff, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. That's what it's all about. I mean, you know, love the things that you love. And if you don't love something, you know, don't focus on it. I mean, you know, there's plenty of, of things out there. There's plenty of Star Wars, plenty of collectibles, or plenty of other franchises, you know, and you don't have to mm -hmm. like every aspect of it. I mean, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some there's something for everybody, and and you know, a world as big as Star Wars. Yeah. Um mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I'm I'm stoked for the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it as well. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's it's a cool era to explore for sure. And I love how it they is. kind of gave her like an like an '80s sort of look to kind of fit that, mm -hmm. that time frame of when the films were made. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Exactly. Detail. I mean, because think about it: when we got Kotor, mm -hmm. Knights of the Old Republic, man, that game, Victoria, I used to I used to call off work sick. <laughs> just to, until I finished the game and I had to play it from two different perspectives dark side light side because I just wanted to see but I love that game so much and it had it was it was the first of its kind at that point and to have any game that we can get you know that doesn't deal with characters that we're used to because we're expanding the universe and I want to explore this you know what I mean I want to see this I want to see you know the bottom underworld of what goes on with the outlaws and, and the smuggling and stuff like that i want to see this is sort of like we're actually definitely getting a chance to see han's world you know mm -hmm. what i mean the world that he existed in without him actually being a major player right. and that's what that's i love true. i can't wait to see it definitely definitely um all right we're gonna go ahead and switch gears here so we can talk a little bit of Bad Batch. Should we do that, Bad Batch? Yeah, let's go. Let's do go. it. All right, we're going to do it. Let's go. All right. So, um, of course, you know, non-spoilers here because I don't know not everybody has seen the most recent episode. But um, just generally speaking, how did you like um, this latest uh, episode? They, they, are, they are tugging on my heart, man. Like, literally, like... It's, it's hard to not get... Okay, so we're not getting into spoilers, but... Okay, so at least we know now that... How can I say this? <laughs> I cannot say this. <laughs> Let's just say I enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the simple fact that now... You know what I'm... The, 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 to see Crosshair's development and where he's at right now to whereas, you know, a first... You know, when we saw him, he was against, you know, those beliefs, following being a good soldier, programmed to be that way, just like a complete hard ass at that point. Now we're seeing a more caring, more involved. He's more of a team player and he's sort of like more of a big brother to um, uh, Omega than anything. 
and he's really cares about her well-being. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of it is atoning for everything that he had done and, you know, and he wants to make up for it, you know, by, you know, being the best, you know, soldier now that he can actually be for the team. Um, and I'm, and I love seeing that development, like the way they've written these last couple of seasons, even with his arc and they weaving it back into the point where, okay, he's falling back in the fold, which we knew eventually he would, but it was like, how would he get there? Cause for a minute I was like, yo, I don't see this happening. But then we started seeing oh, the balloons. Then we basically <laughs> started seeing, you know, you can tell on the side. We started seeing it happening. But um, yeah, I definitely, you know, this episode, the episode before this was like, oh man, come on. I was on like at the edge of my seat, panicking, trying to figure out. I was like, first, I mean, come on, please, yeah. please, please do not take record out like this. Don't do that. And I was so glad that, you know, we got a chance to see in this episode he's back. But again, without really spoiling it, I, I'm enjoying it. You know, I've been enjoying the Bad Batch since the inception. I have all the figures here. I cannot wait for tech, even though he's, you know, can't wait for that. I hope they give us an Omega. Uh, please give us an Omega. They have to give us an Omega. I would love for them to do that. Uh, but I'm definitely excited about it. I'm, I'm super, super. And I can't wait to see next episode. We only got a few episodes left uh but i'm definitely excited about it um and i have my theories on who that mystery assassin is but i'm just gonna hold off and wait but i got my, i got my theories on who i think it is and it's not what everybody thinks because everybody seems to think and it's like it would be too easy for them to say that it's this character i think it's somebody totally different to be quite honest i think it's different yeah totally mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. no i mean i, I love the season like so far like it's you know, when it first started, it was kind of like, uh, you know, thinking back to 2008, the Clone Wars, like, you know, it was definitely a little more, a little more kid oriented, a little more less like, yeah. you know, there was what people some they refer to as filler episodes, you know, sometimes, but not always. But um, yeah, now, like season three, like just the tone has shifted, you know, it's, yeah. it's definitely more mature. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely more. Mm -hmm. just, just the the music the like the, how how great it looks visually like yeah and the story the direction it's going it's going like to a dark place and yeah it's just pretty yeah. fascinating to see that, that that it's taken this turn and i'm really i'm really curious to see where things are going to end up yeah me too me too it's going to be as i'm curious to see how again how they're going to tie because we know that the you know the emperor you know you know he has his agenda we know what the agenda is it's how they're going to weave it in and here's the thing but i love i love the simple fact that they they've tied in project necromancer which we first heard about that from and you know from battlefront you know what i mean from that storyline you know we heard about you know project necromancer and where it was actually going i'm glad to see that that's falling back into you know clone creations stuff like that um there and, and what dave filoni is trying to do is he I, I think that dave filoni bats clean up and what i mean by that is he's trying his best he was already successful with making us fall in love or those who you know at might at some point had a disdain for the you know prequels he did such a good job with Clone Wars to get us more vested in the prequels and to love the prequels more and also to love Anakin Skywalker and also to love Ahsoka and to love where those different beats and emotional sure. beats were. So I think what his job right now is to tie in what we got from the prequels, what we got from, you know, the original T to now what we're getting with the sequels. He's trying to tie all that in. And that's why I think that these shows are strategically placed. The Bad Batch was a show that a lot of people, when they saw him, you know, Clone Force 99, they saw him. They were like, yo, they're interesting, but could they carry a show? Or would it be a, an interesting show to watch? Look what they're doing. You know what I mean? Look how they're pulling it off. Yeah. And this season alone has been some of the best that I've actually seen um, in a while, even though it's heart-wrenching. But I'm excited about it. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> Hope they don't they don't kill me too too hard, yeah. <laughs> but we'll see. Pos positive thoughts. Yeah. Um. Very cool. So we have one last segment. We're yep. not quite um not quite finished yet because we do have the last segment. Yep. 
We're not done yet. <laughs> All right, and we're going to be talking about new acquisitions that we have added to our collection since we were last live, which was last Friday. So I always let the guests go first. Is there anything you've added to your collection uh, recently? So recently, like I told you, well, all right. So, hmm. Um, the last, okay. So I had already had a, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch. So I had Scarlet Witch from Multiverse of Madness. Or no, no, from WandaVision. But I knew I wanted to get a second one because I was going to mod the body. I was going to get it swapped out. Um, so I was lucky enough to get one from Ray um, over there at Hawk Wars. Uh, so that came in. But before that, I got my Deluxe Vader in. And I was so happy about it because, again, this this thing, oh my God, like I think this now we know that we're getting Return of the Jedi Vader with the light up head head, you know, with the lightning effects, the, the light up head sculpt, the Sebastian, you know, Shaw version of it. Mm -hmm. But this one, if, if for anybody who's actually had a one six scale version of Vader, you know that the articulation has been terrible. This one, it has so much more presence. It has ankle pivot, more articulation. It's lighter, but it's in, in, in such a good way. LED light up feature where you just plug it in and it lights up both the belt. You don't have to worry about inserting a, a, a battery, you know, the light up feature with the saber, even the light ups feature with the base. It is perfection. And I'm so excited about it. Awesome. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's a fabulous piece. It, it, it instantly became my new favorite, like hot. Yeah. yeah. Finally replaced that in new hope lay after all these years. Like, yeah. Finally. Yeah. Yeah, um, this Vader is incredible. The only thing is, I was I was a toss up because I was like, "Yo, now I should have got two because I didn't want to have as much as I love the battle damage feature. I didn't want him have him looking that way with the other two Inquisitors. So I was like, you know what? Nah, I'm just gonna have the traditional Vader with the helmet, light up Tell's chest piece and the apparatus, and I'm just gonna rock with it that way. Nice. Mm -hmm. yeah it the good thing about vaders is you know they they do them every now and then so yeah not yeah. not that one necessarily but you know there's there's i'm sure yeah. they'll do something similar mm -hmm. <laughs> at a later point mm -hmm. um yeah well, i want to know what you guys have gotten so you know definitely let me know here in the chat as for me yeah. it, it was a very light week i've only gotten two things mm -hmm. um and i'll go ahead and share i have a picture here because i already got it on the shelf um which isn't something I normally do right away. Usually it takes me months to get things on the shelf mm -hmm. when it comes to Same. like, yeah. So, but this is what it, uh, this is what it is here. So I finally got, you know, I've been doing this thing where I, I, I go nice. back and fill in the gaps is what I call it. And nice. basically uh, in 2003, I think it was Hasbro did these uh, attack of the clones, um, Geonosis, um, separatist war room scene. Wow. And um, it was basically half of the table you see there, and it came with mm -hmm. three of the separatist characters. Yeah, yeah. So I I bought both sets, mm -hmm. and I was able to to kind of complete that because I was missing those. You know, I don't have yeah. I don't have everything. I was missing those, and uh, I really wanted to uh, to get them on the shelf. So that looks nice. Yeah, I. That um, looks nice. I uh, I paired it up with the uh, oops with the other uh, vehicle that I had on the shelf. So on the shelf, I already had the uh, the Trade Federation uh, or the Corporate Alliance tank droid, which is the one in the back. And I thought, hey, yeah. it's all separatist stuff. Let's put it all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fun little uh, it's a fun little little moment to have on the shelf for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's new gunnery. It's, it's good to basically have like, because it just takes you back. Like it takes you back to that moment. You yeah. know what I mean? And then, you know, I just imagine, I'm just basically imagining if this could have been done in six scale. I, yeah. It'd have been hard to pass up as much as, and, right. and this could have been on another list of what we wanted to see in general. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, yeah. it would, yeah, it would be cool to see like new gun ray and, mm -hmm. and hot toys version. Yeah, definitely. 
see yeah. some people saying that, uh, oh, really? You, you thought it, Brit, it was a pot of chili? A pot of chili. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I can kind of see what you right. see, Adam. It does kind of look like a, like a It's like chili or jello. Or something like that. Like jello, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then mm. the other thing, and I'll, I'll highlight myself here for just a second. Um, so, you know, the, the new Ghostbusters film has been out a couple weeks yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I missed out on the popcorn bucket. Wow. Um, yeah, so I went to see the film with my family when I was on, on vacation for spring break in Texas. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were out of this. They were out of it. I was so disappointed because I went on day one to see it and they didn't have any. Yeah. But so of course I went to eBay and the prices slowly came down over the course of a couple of weeks. So I mm -hmm. went ahead and snagged one. I haven't opened it yet. It's in the plastic. I want to light it up. I want to put a light in there. Oh wow. Um, and I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna put like a Ghostbusters logo on there. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's fun. That's incredible. <laughs> nice. I heard now from the rumor is, and I don't know how true this is, is that they're gonna be there's gonna be a popcorn bucket. For the re-release of Phantom Menace. Um, and I heard one was gonna be a pot racer. Um, I heard now I don't know how true it is, but they said it's gonna be a couple of different iterations. So I'm like, yeah, you know, gotta do it. I'm gonna have to do it and have a choice. Yeah. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Tempting. Mm -hmm. Tempting. It's kind of like right now they have the job of the hud at the Disney parks popcorn bucket. And it yeah. looks, ugh, looks so cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, let me see what you guys are saying. You've added to your uh, collections as of late. Um, da, 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 da. So Britt says, or Pico B1 says, I got um, Dooku vintage collection. Very nice. It's an amazing. That's like on the Mount Rushmore of vintage collection figures for sure. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, Britt says she got... Um, Phantom Menace, Anakin, and Padme Black Series, and Super Battle Droid in 3PO. Yo, Super Battle Droid is incredible. nice, nice. Very nice. Very Pico nice. one got the Micro Squadron exclusives from Target, Phantom Menace, Bungo, and N1. Very nice. You're reminding me I'm I, I'm wrong. I did pick that up this week. I did get that, and I also got the Phantom Menace Retro Collection. Nice. Um, I, did, I did get, I completely forgot that I got those. Uh, Trevor says Jedi Revan and HK47, R2 SHW, Cassian, Cassian Mace, Anakin, Mace. and Orn Frita. Good collection there, three and three quarters. Speaking Hell of yeah. Attack of the Clones, Orn Frita right there. Yeah, let's go. Um, Adam says that he got the Phantom Menace Retro set and Micro Galaxy and Galaxy one. and yeah. Manga and three and quarter inch. L is this is very cool. That's a great Clone Wars figure. Yeah, it is. Awesome. That's a dope pickup battle. Yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> Gobi one says adds that uh, he's up to six uh, phase one clone troopers that are shipping. Yeah, I, I bought ten of them to open. I have one to keep carded, but I bought ten to mm -hmm. open. Um, I would have bought more of it if it didn't have a removable helmet, but maybe they'll yeah. do that. Yeah. Soon. Um, Adam, you got the separatist too. Awesome, love nice. that. Uh, cherry cheesecake, yeah, I kind of did look like that too. Now that you mentioned it, <laughs> right? Very cool. Um, let's see here. Dodgson says no action figures, but he did score a Lego. Uh, this is a Jurassic Park a visitor center for 76 bucks. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. Um, one seven decimal two eight. How's it going? Got Black Series Padme and Anakin from episode one. Nice. Very nice. And yeah. Middle Age Q, man, you're still here. Awesome. I love that. I, what time is it over there in New Zealand? I'm curious what time it is over there right now. Probably early. It has to yeah. be like early in the morning. Yeah, it prob probably is. Uh, Tariq says, got the Mando Speeder Bike in Black Series R2. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. Awesome. Um, well, you guys, I appreciate you hanging out with us tonight here in the chat and always a great time with the Cantinians and Leo, thank you so much for being on Cantina Social Hour once again. Anytime, really, really anytime. always a great time. Always. Anytime. I love being here, chatting with everybody out there, meet new people. Yeah. Love it. Always a pleasure to have you. And once again, your channel is linked down below. So if anyone yes. hasn't yet subscribed, please yes. do. 
yes, content yes. is fabulous. And, you know, you're streaming all the time. So that's a, you know, I love having those on when I'm getting ready, when I'm cooking, mm-hmm. when I'm mm-hmm. at the gym, I'll, I'll have it on, you know, just kind of listening. And, you know, yeah. just any time is a good time to listen to a live stream, honestly. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm um, yeah. going to be, so definitely, I guess it's a good time to announce it. So basically we normally do, uh, uh, you know, well, we're going to start picking up more with, um, you know, uncivilized councils on Thursday nights, you know, we're going to be bringing that back. Of course, that's like star Wars talk every Thursday night. Uh, but what I've decided to do, because there's so much in the realm of star Wars to have a discussion about, I'm actually going to be doing a solo show just to kind of talk about the lore and tying it into, uh, what we collect, whether it's books, figures, stuff like that. So just more so discussing the lore and from a certain point of view, um yeah what i mean so i'll be doing that um just segments you know here and there uh just to kind of draw people in so stay tuned for that again i appreciate everybody who does decide to head on over to subscribe to the one to scale man youtube channel i appreciate it um love to be back here anytime you want me i am here you just let me know awesome sounds great and uh finally where can our our viewers go to find you on the socials so yeah, they can find me by the same name, one six scale man twenty ninety nine on Instagram, um, of course on YouTube. I have a Twitter account or an X account under the same name. I'm hardly ever there because all of my content, anything that I put in Instagram, goes straight there anyway. Uh, so they can find me there. Um, uh, Toy has been well. We've been talking about. It. I'm, I'm supposed to basically be doing a TikTok page as well, but I haven't done it yet. I'm just so busy with everything else. I just haven't done it, but I'll be trying to, I'll jump into that venture whenever I can, but yeah, that's where you can find me for now. Facebook as well. Um, you can head on. If you haven't become a member of what is called the figure flex Friday, Facebook group, if you are, and here's the thing. And I want to say this and preference is this way. If you are a collector and you like taking photography or pictures of your collection, it doesn't matter the scale, whether it's one, six scale, one twelve, black series, whatever you name it. Submit, actually come on over, join the Figure Flex Friday Facebook group. It's the Figure Flex Friday Facebook group. Become a member. Um, every Friday we have the show around between 7, 730 um, Eastern time. You can submit your photos, a chance to basically win a free figure. Um, we're always, we love, it's like a, it's like a fan appreciation show, where we just basically just showcase all fan work, you know, whether it's your Facebook, your, your, well, actually more so like your Instagram page, stuff like that, or fidget, um, you know, pictures you may have up, you know, make sure you do that. And, and yeah, love to have you. Super cool. Uh, and you got the music too. Yeah, 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 definitely. I'm still working on that. Uh, there's a couple of things I got going on. Uh, that's been kind of not derailing, but I just been kind of taking my time because I don't want to put anything else out unless I'm really, really confident in it. So yeah, it's just taking some time. Definitely. Very nice. Awesome. Love it. Well, Hey, uh, thanks again, Leon. Thank you for keeping things positive and, yes, and just being such an optimistic part of this community and just being uh, inspiring. That is awesome. Yeah. And you know, thank you. really appreciate that. And um, thank you for being awesome. Anytime. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I love being here. Um, you're it, it's always a pleasure to be here because like I said, we always tell your goat status, especially in the in the community. We love your work. We always talk about I remember the like the first time I got invited, Mario was like, Yo, are you gonna be on Victoria? I was like, Yeah, he's like, Yo, she's the goat. I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely thank you for having me. Too kind. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And once again, thank you all very much. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, in the cantina tonight. Have a great weekend. Be well, be safe, no matter where you're tuning in from Man of the Galaxy. Thank you for checking out Cantina Social Hour. We will see you next week. Same time, same channel. And uh, I'm just going to check really quick who my guest is, just to let you guys know, because I, I I usually do this, and I don't want to forget who is it next week, because I forget myself. Next week, we have... Ooh, we have uh, Rick from uh, Batman on film. So we're going to kind of ch- change things up just a little bit. He's been on the show before, um, but we're going to talk be talking about Batman stuff. So that's going to be cool. So see you nice, guys there. Nice, nice. All right, you guys have a good one. May the force be with you. See you later.